Hello everybody, I'm Andrew Whipple with Quest Side Story and I am here alongside Aaron Flores. Say hello, Aaron. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> We're doing the Odalis, the Dark Call review from Joy Masher. So yeah, we had some fun with this. We also had some well, some bad times with it, but yeah. that's why we're here today. So, Aaron, what did you think of this game? Oh, Dallas is an emotional roller coaster of ups and downs, <laughs> all documented in our QSS plays up on YouTube now. But overall, I thought oh, Dallas was simply okay. It's simply okay. So, just to give you a little tidbit about the story here. So, you're playing as Haggis, this lone warrior, gunman, whatever. There's no guns in this game. And yeah, Haggis, he's trying to find his son who just got abducted by some cultists. They want to sacrifice him. Gods, other people. You just got to get him back. That's yeah. the point of the story, right? It's and like killing Dracula. Basically, and you have to find out if Haggis is a bad enough dude to save his son. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, story, we can, we can just start from there. Story is exactly how it sounds. It's just to the point. Like it, this, You should not be playing Odalis the Dark Call for story at all. Really, you should be playing it for the gameplay. It's a, a more simple Metroidvania. You haven't played too many of those, Aaron. This was a, a pretty decent experience for you, I'd say, in, in that department. What did you think? I there were there are times where I absolutely loved it, and then there were sure. times that I absolutely hated it. Hated it, hated so it. So give hated me an it. example. So there was one boss in particular that we called Chill Penguin on the oh, yeah. playthrough. And I'm just gonna have a video up here. And that boss was just miserable because we didn't have the tools to beat him, the fight took way too long, and just the controls and the impairment was way too way too much for me. Like there were spikes on the side, the floor was ice, he has the shield that you need to have a really specific jump over. He's hard to read because he's one of those bosses that he just walks around and jumps around and does all sorts of stuff. It was really miserable. That's like probably the low point of the game. Oh sure. And sure. also the game crashed on us for once. So yeah, technical hitches, I mean, we can get to more of that too, like, but my God, like the hiccups that this game has had were catastrophic. We had to stop our stream a couple of times just because of it. Yeah. Yeah. There was a moment where you saw one of those ice dudes shoot a bazillion things. You probably that, seen that right was now. pretty funny though. It's just it, like, do, 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 like, it's really funny. Yeah. But the other stuff that's not so funny is where it just slows down to like two frames a second. Or how about the time when I ran into the wall with the mine cart and I flew down and I, it was like, oh, you're cool. But the game was just like, no, 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 no. Yeah, you're no, done. You can't do that. You can't do that. What? But you can cheat the system otherwise. Anyway, there's a lot of weird uh, technical hiccups with the game. It's to be expected from a three-man studio. But the thing is, as much as I'd like to just coast over that because it's an indie game, the thing is, a consumer like you guys who are interested about Odalis the Dark Call, you're not going to care about that stuff. It sucks to say, but that's the truth. Yep. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit more about the level design. What did you think of how Joy Masher set everything up? Honestly, I didn't really like it. A lot of the stuff, like everything's fragmented into different areas, and they force you to explore at one point. So if you don't have enough if you don't have enough upgrades, you actually have to go back and explore every nook and cranny and the progression between each area and where you go, it's not really that natural. There's one point specifically where the game made us go back to a closed off area and you'd think that there's nothing in there. You'd never think twice about going to an area like that, but yeah. we had to go back and in Metroidvania games and a lot of those, there's always that like really smart feeling of like, oh, that's what you're supposed right, to do. Right, yeah, and that's I, what makes them good. And that's what makes them good, that's what makes them feel rewarding. And I didn't really have that feeling in Odalis. It was like, more like, oh, you put this there? Why? Yeah, and you know why you didn't have that feeling? Because there's no map. No, there's, there's, there's no map. There's nothing that tells you like, hey, uh, you probably could go back here and do it. How many times did we go back to a level and it was like, oh, well, you're missing a secret. Well, you know, where the hell is it? Like, there's no real indication sometimes where this stuff is and it's kind of frustrating it just like you said it doesn't feel that natural it's kind of grating i i know that i i've played a bunch of metroidvania games i'm a platformer that's that's my sweet spot but man i do not i do not really care for the, how they design that stuff yeah personally i would have stopped playing at certain points sure yeah i, I think that's fair I, I really do the movement impairing effects the the precision that this game requires at times where it doesn't really have it, like the Chill Penguin boss, like that is the prime example, or the, the Devil's Peak, right, or Devil's Point, whatever it yeah. is. Yeah, stuff like that, infuriating at times. Yeah, it's not fun. Like, I could understand tastefully having movement impairing stuff in there just to mix it up, but when it's yeah. seemingly like half of the game, it's miserable. 
Oh, and the other big point is the item generation, right? So in a Metroidvania, you really want to make sure that it feels natural. Like Aaron was saying before, going back to some places, it just really kind of sucks. We got those items too late. Oh, way too late. Like literally the last thing we got was the double jump and during the playthrough, we're talking about the double jump for seemingly like hours. Oh yeah, you didn't even believe it at first. No, I really <laughs> genuinely thought it was gonna be something else. Some of the enemies feel like they take too many hits too. They're too beefy for their own good. If you played the original Castlevania even, you hit a guy once, like, and that's it. Yeah, it and just then, feels good. And the weapon upgrade that made it feel like one of those games also came significantly late in the game. Like we didn't get any substantial upgrades. Late. Like, the first thing we got was the ability to push rocks. That should be one of the last things you get. Agreed. Yeah, absolutely. So, let's wrap this up here. I think overall, Odalis the Dark Call, it's a decent game. I think that it does a lot right, but at the same time, it does a whole bunch wrong. Uh, technically, it's kind of a mess at times. Oh, yeah. And the whole beginning of the game, it just it starts off pretty good, and then it gets to a real rough middle patch. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, yeah. And then it just hits it, hits it out of the park for the third act. Like sure. from the you know what we call the Dr. Wily stages and on, it's great. Yeah, like some of the bosses. Those are the best bosses in the game. Absolutely. And yeah. then just prior to that, in the whole middle chapter, you have these weird, crappy bosses that just aren't fun. They could have done a lot better with uh, just the setup, but mechanically. At times I feel like they want you to do something when the game is really working too much against you. It makes it frustrating when you put in the whole environmental problems and I mean just with certain bosses like the Chill Penguin Precision. Honestly, if you see some of the stuff for the QSS plays and some of the stuff in the video right here, you see exactly what we're talking about. It's a good game, but not enough to warrant a $15 purchase. Aaron, I'm gonna give this three stars. I'm right there with you. It was it was simply okay. That's how I started this review, that's how I'm ending it. Yeah. And okay gets three stars from me. Sure, all right, so combined, that's six total, three for me, three for Aaron. That's about it. Yeah, Odell's The Dark Call from Joy Masher. If you can get it on sale, you know, five to seven bucks, I'd say, hey, if you like platformers that much, take the, take the dive. I mean, they did a good job with it, but just be aware of what we talked about. There are some issues, but overall, a pretty cool experience. Yeah, I agree.